What is your Tinder horror story? So I met this girl on Tinder and went for a lunch date. We had a pretty good connection so we decided to have dinner as well. After having a few drinks one thing lead to another and ended up back at my place, had fun and went to sleep. Middle of the night I wake up. She's intensely staring at me while she's crouched behind the bed. I asked her if everything is alright, she said yes and got back into bed. I thought little creepy, but probably nothing to worry about. She lays down to cuddle with me and she's wet. At the time, I was like damn I must just be a stallion. Fast forward to the morning, she's gone and there's a wet puddle beside the bed. She peed on my floor. I still don't understand it. I had a bathroom, but maybe she just got lost and couldn't hold it? I did not hear from her again. We lived about 25 minutes from each other, so agreed to meet at the beach pier about halfway between. Before meeting, we had been texting and he seemed totally normal. I was already at the pier when he texted me saying he can't meet me there because his license is revoked and it's too far for him to walk. I should have just left then, but I agreed to meet him at a pizza place closer to him. I get there, and I'm standing outside when I see him, and quickly realize the pics from his profile were at least 3 to 5 years old. Homeboy looks like the dollar store version of himself. Greasy, looks like he hasn't showered in days, hair undone, holes in his shirt. I awkwardly give him a side hug and suggest we get a seat, and he says, oh, no, we're not getting pizza. Let's go to the park. I awkwardly say okay, and as he talks, I realize his gums and tongue ring are stained black from smoking. By this point, I am completely turned off and am just keeping up with formalities. So we get to the park and find a bench to talk, and before I can sit down, homie pulls me onto his lap, squeezing me and saying, God, baby girl, you are so fucking cute. I awkwardly scooch away and try to get a conversation going. He pulls out his phone and starts texting for a few minutes, not really listening to me, before interrupting with, have you smoked? My friend is a plug, we could go back to my place for a bowl. I decline. Aw, come on, baby girl, my place is just right there. We could have some fun, too. I decline again. Next thing you know, he pulls me close by the face and whispers, you're so innocent, before broad tongue licking my face from chin to ear. Shell shocked, I just sit there for a moment processing what the fuck just happened as he keeps talking about weed before I decide to fake an urgent phone call and leave. First date, we went to see a movie. She brought her sister along, without consulting me first, and I somehow ended up paying for both of their tickets. Bit of a doormat, old me. We went to see Star Wars, The Force Awakens. Turns out, neither of them had seen a Star Wars film before, nor had any idea at all what was going on. Awesome. Date ended at McDonald's after the movie with one hour plus of her eating fries one at a time, and her sister talking shit about basically everyone at her work. To this day I'm not sure what that date was even about. There was no second date. Talked to him for two weeks before we went out and no red flags. So we ended up going out to dinner. I said I hadn't been out in a while because I was trying to save money for a washer and dryer. He told me instead of saving for that I should save for a boob job. I didn't even know how to reply so he followed up with, no it's not a bad thing, my sister and mom both had small tits and got boob jobs and they look amazing. This is all before the waitress even brought our drinks. I just got up and left. Well I've only gone on one Tinder date, we talked for a bit and I agreed to pick her up at Starbucks. She looked nothing like her pictures, but I thought I should be nice and at least hang out with her for a bit. We went to her place and the entire house reeked like cat pee. Like saturated. Then as she proceeded to show me her massive collection of animal tail butt plugs, she screamed at her chihuahua and smacked it right on the nose and without missing a beat just asks if I want to make out on the couch. I awkwardly sat down and pretended to look at my phone and made up that my grandma was dying so I could go. Fresh off a breakup on campus, match with this really good looking girl who is talking pure filth. Obviously I'm just an idiot with a hurt heart so I don't question much, head over to her place a few days later. She insisted I come over on a certain day at a certain time. Usually I would have been sketched out but it was the middle of the day on a big campus what exactly could go that south? Half hour in her husband came home. I was being used in revenge plot. No more Tinder. Met a guy, decent conversation, smart, funny, mutual nerdy hobbies. 
We decide to meet up at the local gamer bar and play some games while having our first date. Get in, sit down, dude has no teeth. Says a hack dentist told him they all had to be removed, couldn't get dentures due to budget, needed to wait for bone shards go fall out of his gums, etc. Proceeded to spit all over our food while talking, which granted, I knew he couldn't help, but if he can hide something this big from someone, what else could he be hiding? Plus I couldn't stomach the thought of making out with someone with no teeth. My worst Tinder experience was pretty traumatizing for me at the time. I was a sophomore in college and she was a junior or senior at the same school. The first time we ever hung out, I went over to her apartment and we just watched some Netflix and hung out. Nothing crazy. I was thinking this chick is super cool, we may have something here. So I leave telling her I'd like to see her again if she's down. She told me she would love to and just hit her up whenever and we'll make some plans. We start texting slash snapchatting throughout the week and organize some plans for the following weekend. Out of nowhere, she starts sending me unsolicited nudes. Never once asked for them and when we were hanging out the weekend prior, there was no sexual activity at any level. We quite literally Netflix and chilled. It caught me off guard, but I was more than cool with it. I'm a young college guy and this hot older chick wants to send me nudes after only hanging out one time? Say less. Fast forward to the weekend. She comes to my apartment and we're hanging out with my roommates watching something on TV. She asks me if she can stay the night, and after sending nudes to me all week, I kind of figured what was up, so in my head I'm like, ah duck yes. But I tell her of course and to be polite I offer to sleep on the couch because we've only known each other for all of about two weeks and have only seen each other in person one time prior. She tells me she'd rather me sleep in my bed with her, so I know it's on. We get to Netflix and chilling in my room and I make a move. We start to hook up. I wore a condom and finished inside of it and tossed it off to my side of the bed. As we're laying there after a few minutes, she gets up abruptly, comes around to my side of the bed and grabs the condom off the floor and runs into the bathroom. I'm a little confused, maybe a little concerned but kind of brush it off. As I'm laying there in my bed I hear a loud crash in my bathroom she yells duck. I ask if she's okay and get no response. I'm a little concerned thinking this girl just fell in my bathroom and cracked her head open or something. I go to open the door and she is standing in my shower with one leg propped up trying to shove the condom up her vagina after she flipped it inside out. I freak out, no clue what to do. She's clearly freaked out and probably embarrassed? I have no clue. I shut the door and she immediately comes back out, says she's gonna leave and I say sounds good. I never hear from her again, I say sounds We were supposed to meet at 9pm. He fell asleep and called me at 9.30 when I was already at the carnival. I told him not to bother coming as I didn't want to see him. He asked for another chance and I agreed. Unfortunately my dad got really ill and had to spend the next six weeks in the hospital with me visiting him daily. I had no time for dates and he got extremely mad. He made a fake Instagram account which he used to follow me and everybody that I followed. He then saw me in a friend's Instagram story and showed up to the restaurant we were at. He called me a whore and a liar and we had to threaten to call the police because he would not leave. Not Tinder but Match.com and right in its infancy too long time ago when it was just weirdos doing online dating. I matched and met up with a girl. She was way hotter than me, like crazy hot, way out of my league. The date was going super well and we'd even made out a bit. Couldn't believe my luck. We decided that as it was going so well we'd keep it going and headed to a bar. We were getting cozy in a corner when a group of African lads came into the bar. I live in a very homogeneous white country to the point that that would even be noteworthy especially at that time. She got up off where we were sitting and began shouting abuse at the lads who came in saying they didn't belong here and dropping the n-word several times. I felt like that moment in a horror movie where the camera sims in on your face and the background zooms out. I just got up and walked out. She tried to call me the next day to set up another date, I just ignored her. Clearly ducking nuts. Too good to be true in the truest sense. I went to his place and we hooked up but after he goes so you wanna know what I'm really into? And I was like sure and then he grabs my foot. I have a really irrational fear of people touching my feet so I ran the hell out of there anyway I get to the living room on the way out and it turns out to be his parents house and I look at his mother and see she was my old therapist. I'll tell a story from my female friend from the military, when we discuss this very topic. She talked with him for a few days, seemed very natural and friendly. He proposes to meet in a bar to grab some drinks. 
No red flags thus far. Things starts to get more weird during convo. Every other question is unusually personal, like traumatic experiences from childhood. Yet overall he seemed charming. Went to his place. After going to the bathroom she heard some unusual noises. Peeked inside the room he went to while she was gone. He was mounting the last couple of plastic covering on the walls. She left immediately after excusing herself, contacted the police, and sure enough this guy turned out to be a soon-to-be serial killer. This happened in Norway and I don't know much about the following events. But my friend is pretty scarred by it.